What up, After Buzzers? We are here with Yvette Nicole Brown. Girl, congratulations. Thank you, honey. All right, so please tell me this. Cosplay, melee? Melee. Melee. Melee, yes. You know, my bo ignorant Boston accent. That's all right. That's all right. Cosplay, melee. Okay, so this is really cool. Yes. I'm all into, like, fantasy, mm -hmm. sci-fi stuff. How did you get involved with the show? You know what? They called me and said they were doing this show, and I was like, what? I get to watch and judge people who are creative in a good way, in a nice way? Yes, I'm in. So it was like just a... It's a love letter to cosplayers who, if people don't know, they're people that see a, a, a piece, a film or a television show and want to create a, a character that could live in that universe. So this is them getting. So it's to not actually that. recreating a. No, character. these are these are their original characters, but this it has to be original character that will live in that week's category. Mm. So our first episode is a night at the space opera, which is Star Trek, Star Wars, any anything that takes place in space. Okay. So they have to create a character that can live within their chosen movie or television show. That is so. Cool. Isn't that great? No, are we gonna see you? dressing up you're not going to see me dressing up. i mean I, I i tip a hat to the the category of the week but as far as creating an actual costume i'm gonna leave that to, to the, the talented people that were that the contestants yeah i mean because to be a part of the world like that, i would never think of doing something like that but to be around it yeah. for so long yeah you never get like the it's like you know. not at all i'm someone that that celebrates other people's gifts mm. and i'm not someone that believes that i can do everything i have the things that i can do and i do those well and i celebrate the ones that do other things well that's how i, I live love it. uh what's one thing that we surprised you about this world um i was surprised at how different people are in and out of costume there were quite a few people that were almost timid when i first met them the first day in the workshop and told them about the game and what we were going to be doing and then by the time they came through the double doors as the character they were a whole nother person so really? that the transformation blew my mind that was the biggest surprise for me what fantasy can actually do to somebody's yeah or, or what or what living within your your using your gifts can can straighten up your spine mm. and you become Become bolder and stronger and prouder of, of who you are because you're living your truth, whatever that is. You know what I mean? I just think it's beautiful. You are, I cannot with this woman. Uh, She's like a bottle of sunshine uh, right here. What's one of your favorite, what was one of your favorite themes? Um, Probably space opera because I'm a big Star Wars fan. Okay. And then I also love the Game of Thrones episode because I love Game of Thrones. So, but we didn't, we couldn't go wrong. We had superheroes, we had video games, I mean, we had anime. Like there were so many different genres that, that mainstream America can love. So it's not a niche show. People see you hear cosplay and go, oh, that's not for me. Yes, it is. It's for you too. So now, do we, do we once the characters are like built and designed, do they go into like, do they act anything out? Or they do. It? They come down the runway and they become the character and they have to tell us their origin story. Oh, wow. Who they are, why they're the way they are, what happened, who killed who. Like, it has to be a real performance. I'm yeah, here. Really, for wait this. till you this see it. Fun. It's going to blow your mind. Okay, so now it's on Tuesdays, Tuesdays on Sci Fi. At 10 p.m. on Sci Fi. Right, right after um, Face Off on Sci Fi. Boom. Make sure you guys check it out. Buzz you later. <laughs> Thank such, you. Such a good interview.